Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't been here, welcome to my channel. Look what I got. I have some more hedge wood. Um, this isn't from a post. It is just from a tree. And it is heavy and dense. Of course, it's got all these cracks and crevices. And um, from the thumbnail, I'm sure you guys could tell I'm probably going to do something I probably shouldn't. You know, it's just how it is. I got to I gotta get these things, try these things out. I had been thinking about this. I bought this teapot a, from the Goodwill store. Oh, probably a year or two ago and I was trying to figure out how I could incorporate you know the spout the handle the feet with um, wood I had actually seen this in a magazine where a wood turner had taken um, silver teapot or different things like that and um, repurposed it, combined it with the wood. Um, so, I'm going to attempt it. Probably a bad idea. I'm going to need to do some work on it. It's got to get cleaned up. You know, there's, i got to try to get down in here with the brush. And I'll use my brass brush with it to do some cleaning. But I'm going to put my respirator on. But, of course, I need to definitely get things cleaned up good. Um, because, you know, things will break off if you don't. If you don't get things cleaned up, you won't get a good casting with your, your epoxy. Okay, for this one, I think I'm going to use a silver pearl. And the golden indigo. And maybe a little bit of whale, which is kind of a, between a, it's kind of a gray. Anyway, um, not real sure. A majority of it's going to be the silver pearl. And then I'll come back in with the indigo. And then this one will be the, um, well and I'm gonna let these guys set for a little bit get kind of warmed up and yeah so they'll have good color separation okay I'm gonna add a smidge of the white diamond just to kind of get that brought up a little bit guess that's not a smidge Ooh. okay let's hope we're gonna get some good color separation I did end up using hot glue to glue that down I tried the um, the uh, CA glue and it just you know because it wasn't a flat piece it just wasn't going to work out very well for me so let's start out with some white and let's go on in with some blue This one isn't quite as warm, but we're going to just do a drizzle. Some more white. Let's go in with the, some more blue. Oh, dripping, making a mess. Let's 
go with a little more white. more of the yeah we'll just dump it all in there okay we're going to get her into the pressure pot and I will bring you guys back when we got her out we'll see boy a lot of white on the bottom let's hope some of these separate out oh. alright let us get this out of Look at that. Look at that. Come out pretty easily. Just had to get the air seal in there. Boy, I think she's going to be pretty. I think I can do it. Which way to go with the top and which way to go with the bottom. Because that's some pretty stuff. If I somewhat go with the same shape. It would make sense because this is narrower. Ta-da! What do you think? No? Yeah. We better put her on the on the lathe and give her a spin. And see what we can make.
well just after some measuring and everything if I'm gonna do a lid I am gonna have to bring this down which I'm gonna have to bring it down anyway because of I need to get some of this extra epoxy off the top I just don't want to lose too much because I am going to have to bring this down a little bit more to get I'm going for kind of the same shape that my coffee pot was but a little bit different yeah hmm that piece of that wood wants to chip out a little bit. I think if I, I'm just going to have to go. I just don't want to lose all of my epoxy. I know there was a crevice in here, but I could still be losing quite a bit of it. And then I'm going to get a tenon made. We're going to do it. Get a tenon made down here. And... get her flipped around. I think I better go ahead and do that before I do any more shaping and lose more than what I really want to because the epoxy was really cool looking and now I'm not seeing much of the gray a little bit here yeah I'm just worried that I'm gonna lose everything in the middle here This is when you want to do a shape that maybe the epoxy says no, but you're going to do it because you're going to do it. thermal crack here. I think I'm going to try to do the sawdust and some CA glue. Get down in there. Man, had to go not have a glove on. down in there please can you do that just getting a little bit of the dust from the try not to have any epoxy in it that's tricky business but get down in there. Now we'll be turning some more of this away.
got just too much going on with with this epoxy that I don't want to try to just put a solid color in there. I think I think that's the thing I want to do anyway. Down to uh, two seventy. We'll give her a go on that. Let's clean her up with some denatured alcohol. You can tell, still so yellow. And that is all from the wood. Alright, let's put some Myland sanding sealer on her. Yorkshire grid abrasive, abrasive paste.
Okay, let's go on with the microfine. some metal pegs in it, in it. Now I've drilled some holes so it will seat down on there. Here we are guys. What do you think of this week's project? It took me a lot of nerves to go ahead and drill holes to attach the handle and the spout. I was just 
almost chickening out of it. But I knew I was wanting to actually do this project for a long time. You know, turn a piece of wood that was in the shape of a teapot and use, you know, the actual metal uh, pieces from the teapot. So, I don't know. Let's put the lid on her. She doesn't sit real good on her feet. Um, that was something I did struggle with. I, I couldn't commit to attaching the feet directly to the pot um, because there was just some struggles with the shape of the feet and how I had made the body. Uh, and I tried shaping them and it, it was just it just wasn't working out for me so I made this little platform here out of one of these coasters um, it is still coated with uh, silver plating which is what the the actual teapot was made like but whenever I cut that out Boy, I kind of mangled that, so I had to do a lot of work on the, the rim to get it back shaped. Still got a little bit of an oval shape to it, so it doesn't want to set super good. I did go ahead and epoxy the feet to it, um, and thought potentially I could go ahead and epoxy this to the teapot. But I can't make the, I just can't commit to it yet. I just don't know if it looks better with feet or without feet. I've had it in several different locations with or without the feet and just can't make that decision. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know. What do you think? Do you think it needs to have the feet or do you think it looks better without the feet? Um... I will put pictures in the picture box both ways, so scoot on down to those comments. Let me know what you think. Pro feet, uh, against the feet, for the feet, against the pot, should have left it as a vase. Let me know. Uh, you know, it was a very, very pretty epoxy pour. Uh, the color separation was great. The, the wood is beautiful of course when you're dealing with the Osage orange or hedge you know I found it it just has very beautiful tones you know the grain isn't anything I thought maybe it'd be a little more mangled in there but it you know it's it's interesting but yeah anyway committing to actually putting the pieces on was a very very hard thing for me I had to sit and have a talk with myself because I had wanted to do this for quite a long time I'd bought these pieces maybe a year or two ago and just hadn't pulled the trigger on it so I thought why not this one so anyway there we go I want to thank everybody who stuck to the end and saw how it turned out and um, want to thank my subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead jump on in and subscribe it's free it l helps YouTube know that you like watching my videos they'll they'll let you know whenever I have a new video come out I try to put out at least one a week and um, yeah and you can share my video with your friends and family. You can give me the thumbs up. That's that's always good for the analytics for YouTube to push me out to other people so I can get seen by more. But I just want you guys to know that I appreciate you and thanks for stopping in and spending the time watching my video. You guys uh, have a great day. We're going to throw her in the picture box, like I said, and we're going to see you on the flip side. <laughs>